Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome co-founder and CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang. I love you too. <laughs> I love you guys. Hello, Austin. It's great to be here. I can't imagine a better place to hold this event than the premier, premier dream hack in North America. This is the largest digital festival, as you guys know, in the world. Started in Sweden. This is a place where gamers, digital artists, and people who just love computer get together. We've got an amazing show for you guys today, and so let's get started. We've dedicated almost 25 years of NVIDIA to building computing technologies for the world's most demanding computer users. You guys know who they are. <laughs> Digital artists, designers, scientists, gamers, and dream hackers and dream hackers. You know that, that video games, computer games, started in our generation, and it was made possible by computer technology. The computer technology of microprocessors and mass ROMs made it possible for the Atari consoles to come along. In the 80s, two fundamental technologies made it possible for the PlayStations to be created. First is custom chip design called ASICs, and the second is CD-ROMs. In the 90s, in Windows, with Windows 98 and Direct3D, it made it possible for us to start the PC gaming revolution that we know today. But what makes the PC gaming platform so special is that it's also open. So that technologies can come in and out of this platform, so that hackers, designers, engineers can continue to advance this platform, making it better and better all the time. Today, PC gaming is much, much more than gaming. You guys know that all kinds of formats have come and gone, but yet the PC platform is evolving and thriving. All kinds of new types of games, whether it's RTS or RPG or first-person shooters, the fact of the matter is gaming is more than gaming, even. It's now a sport. It's much bigger than a sport. It's a spectator sport. 300 million people around the world enjoy esports today as spectators. And also, because of the amazing technology of gaming, it is now also an artistic medium. Amazing engines like UE4 make it possible for people to create their stories and create shorts and amazing movies using video game technology. Video game technology, PC gaming, has really, really thrived. And it's made it possible to enable all of these different ways to enjoy PC games. And now, of course, there's also VR. We've dedicated ourselves to advancing this platform. And today, we have some really, really groundbreaking stuff we want to show you. Several thousand engineers, several thousand engineers worked in the last several years to make today possible. It is really amazing what they've done. Today, I want to talk about four things. Four fantastic things. Four fantastic things. The first is a new art form. I also want to talk to you about a new sound. A new king. A new king. And something really, really important. Something really, really important for the future of graphics. A brand new technology that you guys have never heard of before. A brand new technology. Really exciting new technology. So let's get started. You know, video game technology, as I mentioned, has evolved imme immensely. Because of the GPU and because of programmable shading, video games today are an interactive art form. And artists from all over the world are enjoying enjoy in-game photography as this new art form. Duncan Harris, Dead End Thrills, Joshua Taylor, Leonardo Sang from Brazil, James Pollock, each one of them arduously find the perfect moment in a video game, positions their camera just perfectly, waits for the perfect lighting, and captures that amazing moment. And what you get is this amazing, amazing palette. 
what you get is this amazing art form. The work that they've done is really, really quite amazing. I'm so touched by it. We decided that we would make this technology possible for everybody to be able to do. For many of them, they have access to even, even uh, custom builds of video games so that they can control the camera motion. For us, it's really impossible. So ladies and gentlemen, today, we're introducing the world's first in-game 3D camera system. We call it Ansel. Ansel has several features. The first feature, of course, and it's completely built into the driver. It's an SDK that's plugged into uh, the games. The first feature is free camera. No longer are you constrained to just the path that you have to follow by the game. You can now have free camera motion. The second, as in all great cameras, you have effects. You can colorize. You could change the tonality, change the mood, even vignettes, all kinds of special effects. You can even dump out the EXR. 16-bit floating point of the frame buffer so they can ingest it into Photoshop and do all kinds of amazing special effects. But you know, you know that a great picture has far, far higher resolution than what you see on a monitor. And so we can allow you now to render to 32 times higher resolution than what you see on a monitor. So 4K, 1,000 times higher resolution than 4K. That's essentially 1,000 photographs. A thou yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine a photograph with a resolution of a thousand iPhone sixes. Crazy levels of resolution. And of course, don't forget, we are a 3D graphics company after all. And you are in one of the most amazing virtual environments you can imagine. And these environments are now so beautiful, technologically so advanced, artistically so beautiful. Why shouldn't you take it in full 360 stereo? Wow. Imagine just with one click. And that click is no longer just print screen. You guys know what I'm talking about. I love this moment, hit print screen. I love this moment, hit print screen. No longer are you constrained to just that. All the freedoms of a di digital camera, all of the special effects, the ability to use Photoshop, and do so much more. The world's first in-game 3D camera systems. Let's take a look at that. Holdor, yeah. where are you? Yep, I'm okay. here. So this game you've probably all seen before. This is The Witness, and it's a beautiful game. And as you're playing it, you'll often get into the situation where you just want to capture the moment, you know, what's on the screen. You want to turn that into a picture. Now, in this game, water is actually an obstacle. And for this specific shot, I would like to get actually over the brook. So the way I do that is I enable Ansel, which now allows me to move the camera in any way I want to. So I'm starting here to frame my shot. I'm going to move a little further back. And then I am going to tilt the camera a little bit for dramatic effect. Not too much, though. Just a little bit. And then uh, I'm going to take the shot. But you know, in this case, um, I'm going to crop it. And usually when you crop a, a picture, you're going to lose pixels. And if I just crop this a screen resolution, the end result would be too low resolution. So I'm going to change the capture type to high resolution. And as Jensen mentioned, the high resolution can go really high, as you can see here, 61,000 oh. pixels. <laughs> Before this demo, we're going to leave it at 5x. And that's generating all the pictures. And then those are going to be stitched together. Now, there are more features here, like filters. So let's explore those a little bit. As you can see, I've changed the colors quite a bit here. And um, we can change and add a vignette, for instance, maybe tone down the brightness a little bit, and, um, and create exactly the mood that we're looking for, like this. And now if I fix the roll here again, we go back to just normal settings, so it doesn't look like a horror movie anymore. 
And then you can see the changes that we made. Now we we'll switch to the other machine so we can show the picture that we just generated. Yes, that's it. And now we're going to crop it. Yep, that's good. And there you go. There's Unbelievable. Work of art. All right. Now, Holgor, let's let's also show them what a three three sixty yeah let's do that like. I, yes exactly because you know like the picture we just took is just of course the viewpoint that we saw but you know often you have something which you want to share the full environment the full experience so let's take this lighter all the way over to three sixty stereo and generate a full sphere of the environment and now we can look at that actually on an HMD if we switch to the Vive display. Okay. Yeah, she's actually ready. So here I am. I'm yeah. holding on to this. Yeah. A one click. Take a stereo 360 photograph. And now I can enjoy it on my head mount display. Wow. Is this amazing? Isn't this fun? Isn't this fun? And you'll get to see, you'll get to see your game like you've never seen it before. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? But you know what? We have an even, even more popular way of enjoying VR. These are going to sell like hotcakes, but uh, you know that there's a, there's a lot of people who won't be able to enjoy them with these head mount displays for some time. And so we thought, wouldn't it be great if we made it possible for you to enjoy it on your phone? And so, <laughs> yeah, so here we have the same ready? technology integrated into uh, The Witcher. And All right, so, so this is Witcher. Yep. And in the same way. All you way, need is a Google, excuse me, Holger. Yeah. All you need is a Google Cardboard and any Android phone. You just have to download the NVIDIA app and notice. Okay, here you can see it, and that's uh, in the stereo mode. And if you don't have cardboard, and you would just like to fly around that world, what do you think about that? That's awesome. Is that amazing? Look at that. Look at that. This is just thousands of hours of fun. We'll just sit there and fly around our virtual game all day long. Share with your friends. Okay? okay. NVIDIA Ansel. Yeah. The world's first in-game camera system. Now, Ansel is coming to games all over the world. Division, The Witness, Lawbreaker, The Witcher, the next generation, the next version of DLC of, of Witcher, Wild Hunt, Paragon, No Man's Sky, Unreal Tournament, and so many more. The developers that we've presented this to are so excited about it because they want you to be able to enjoy the worlds that they've created in all kinds of ways. And now, for the very first time, for people who are in love with in-game photography, um, you can now share it with your, game, your friends all in VR. 